Hey there, Shedder here for ESFI World, recapping the recent action from the GSL Round of Eight. Alive kicked off the Round of Eight with a unique build against MMA. He rushed for a Raven in TVT purely for the auto turrets. The Raven was later joined by a very 1-1-1 like follow-up that quickly did fatal damage to MMA's economy. One of the subtle keys of this build was a single Hellion that roasted all of MMA's early Marines. MMA and Alive traded the next two games. They both left their bases open to Banshee harassment while going for strong timing attacks. Both timing attacks failed, putting the score at 2-1 in favor of Alive. Banshees again played an important role in the fourth game. MMA expertly fended off a Marauder rush, and Alive was soon left far behind. MMA seemed to anticipate Alive's cloaked Banshee follow-up with an engineering bay. But MMA didn't make any turrets and paid for it dearly, losing SCVs to Alive's first Banshee and 10 more to a Blue Flame Hellion drop soon after. MMA made a brave effort to come back with desperate drops and defensive nukes, but Alive's superior mech army rolled across the map and MMA was forced to concede. This was the second time in a row MMA has been knocked out of the quarterfinals since winning his first CODES championship in October. Alive's 3-1 win over MMA will allow him to advance to the semifinals. The second match of the night opened with a one barracks expand build from Gumiho squaring off against Puzzle. Once he scouted Puzzle's Nexus, he decided to go for cloaked banshees that eventually killed 18 probes. Puzzle pushed with his strong gateway force, but Gumiho's bunker and high ground siege tank defense was able to fend off the attack with minimal losses, giving Gumiho the initial advantage. In game two, Puzzle took advantage of an odd build from his opponent, defending a Hellion drop and easily crushing the marine tank push aimed towards his third base. The score would not stay even for long though, as Gumiho beat Puzzle in every aspect of game three. His oddly composed marine tank army caught the Protoss army off guard and eventually pushed right up into Puzzle's main base. Although Puzzle had enough immortals, poor control mid-battle lost him the game, and the lead returned to Gumiho. In game four, Gumiho impressed with a solid two racks opener, which caused Puzzle to cancel his expansion. Gumiho then pushed out with his bioforce as Puzzle's second attempt at expansion was just completing, getting the Nexus down to 20% health before he was fought off. Puzzle eventually went to a three immortal timing assault, touching off a race to expand. Gumiho looked to be in a losing position with a smaller army, but due to some solid micro and use of SCVs to soak damage, he was able to eke out a win 3-1 and advance to the semifinals. Team MVP dominated the second day of quarterfinal play with six unanswered wins. Genius started the sweep with an unexpected 3-0 win over MC. The first game of this series was fairly simple. Genius opened with a four gate. MC tried for an early robo and was left unprepared for what lied ahead. MC would attempt the three stalker rush, but was not mobile enough with the stalkers and did not see the four gate coming. This let Genius establish a forward pylon. MC didn't have a single sentry ready for defense and had to give up the first game. The second game showed that Protoss mirrored matchups can actually last past 20 minutes. At first, MC established an advantage using Stalkers. He waited a bit too long to capitalize on it though and allowed Genius to mount an immortal base defense. Both players stabilized and macroed up huge Colossus heavy armies. MC was first to make the mistake, blinking into a mass of immortals. Those immortals made quick work of the stalkers and pushed forward to kill MC's unprotected colossi. Genius saw his chance and quickly counterattacked for the win. In the final game, MC went for a Stargate build while Genius foregated, and MC only barely held that off with expert force fields. Genius turtled in a bit to defend against the growing Phoenix fleet. It also bought him some time to get out of Colossus. Genius knocked down the force fields at MC's front door and marched into his first ever GSL semifinals with a 3-0 win over MC. Moving on to the final pairing of the quarterfinals. This one featured Parting and Dong Regu. DRG was able to defend Parting's Devil Stargate opening in game one with some well-executed Queen Micro and anti-air defense. Parting's tech was well behind DRG's for the rest of this game due to the huge gas investment that he lost early on. DRG, displaying his top tier multitasking skills, was able to keep on the pressure while also teching up to Broodlords to clinch the victory in game one. 
Harding began game two with some fake early pressure, which forced DRG to fall back, start cranking out roaches. This guaranteed parting an easy third expansion. Seeing this, DRG attempted a counterattack on this third. Initially, it was fought off, but due to a lapse in the attention on the part of parting, DRG was able to run his zerglings up the ramp, kill off lots of sentries, and put the brakes on parting's economy. This left DRG unchecked in his expansion plans and spread creep to his liking. He continued to throw Banelings, Roaches, and Mutalisks at parting, whittling down his mostly stalker army until eventually Banelings arrived to close out game two with DRG in the driver's seat. Parting began the final game with the two gate opening against the 14 pool from DRG. Parting feigned an expansion early, but once he killed DRG's scouting overlord, canceled the Nexus, and began pushing with four warp gates. DRG reacted with multiple spines, but Parting contained DRG's army in his main with some force fields. Despite running with the smaller of the two armies, DRG's preparation and micro allowed him to stay dominant throughout. Parting stayed in the game and tried to push with a few zealots and sentries, but DRG was just too prepared, even getting in a zergling dance when he had Parting's force surrounded. This caused Parting to give up the GG and sent Dong Regu to the semifinals. The semifinal round begins on February the 23rd, with some longtime competitors finally having a shot at the GSL finals. The Terran Alive will square off against the Protoss Genius. Gamiho will be taking on Dong Regu in DRG's favored matchup, Zerg vs. Terran. And that'll round things out for this edition. For much more GSL coverage and news from around esports, find us on Twitter at ESFI and on the web at ESFIWorld.com. Until next time, this has been Shedder for ESFI World.